target is Vincente Murillo, a fascist militia leader thought to have disappeared. A prominent figure in the 1980s war against communism, we have intel that he has returned to continue his old mission of creating a new world order in South America, starting in Colombia. Intel provided by our client tells us that he is a narcissist, a pathological liar, and very paranoid with a drinking habit. If he is to fulfill his dream of starting a fascist uprising, he could let the world know that our client has supported him back in the 80s. Our client needs their past mistakes resolved. Times have changed. So good luck, 47. Hello. I am Captain Jupes, and this is a little post-commentary of my Hitman 2 first attempt at a, one of the elusive targets. It, uh, yeah, you know, it could have gone better. Um, I wanted to focus on it, so I didn't do commentary at the time. Um, so we're just gonna, I'll kind of do the play-by-play -play -play as we go here. Um, I picked it because I thought, well, it was gonna be up in like a day or two, and I thought, well, I might as well, you know, give it a shot. Um, I'm incredibly skilled in all the things I do, so I figured, you know, first attempt, I'm gonna probably nail it. Uh, and, and, uh, boy, do I. So, first thing you see me doing here is I'm, like, looking around desperately for the little red outline of the person. I did not know that that wasn't, like, a thing you just get. Like, I guess that makes it easier, um, to find your dudes, um... Uh, the little red outline of the guy you're chasing down, which um, I kind of really appreciated. <laughs> it was... Oh, God. Yeah. It, I, as you can see, we're kind of starting off strong. I didn't even look around. I just was like, yeah, this guy, he's done. We're done with him. And then I finally look around after, <laughs> and then I just change into his outfit. <laughs> And this is this is kind of where it, where it all starts. I realize at this point that I'm like, oh crap, I actually have to go and find the target. Um, I'm just gonna tell you right now that does not happen. I I do not succeed in this mission. Um, so if you were expecting you know brilliant success, unfortunately you are not going to see that. Um, it just does not happen. Good God. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll just flick some stuff and see what happens. Oh God, what am I doing? It's terrible. From here, I'm kind of speeding it up for you. <laughs> because the madness is just going to kind of compound on itself from here. It's not going to get any better. <laughs> Uh, so in here I'm thinking, well, this looks like a soldier, and I don't know why I wasn't allowed up there. I guess it's for only people with nail guns. Um, but I'm, like, desperately trying to figure out how to get, like, the one of those soldier outfits. Because I figure, like, oh, there's, like, a guard compound at the other end here, like, there, right there. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, that must be where he is. And I was like, oh, I was like testing whether or not I was allowed in there. And then I was like, oh, uh, I'll go ahead and grab a soldier's outfit. Because I figured, oh, surely the troops will be allowed to go, you know, wherever they want. Um, so this is me handling that. I, oh, yeah, there's a gardener's outfit, which I don't... I think that would have helped me in a, a different place, but not here. And I'm speeding us up until we get to, like, the start of the chaos. Because um, at a certain point, I just begin blasting. And I, I manage to make it through, like, a significant part of the map just killing so many. Like, just murder city. I actually ran out of ammo with this pistol um, at the end. I was I was spent. <laughs> Good lord, here's where it begins. <laughs> Just like, well, I'm in it now. 
put that away and uh, keep on walking down the the road here. And I'm thinking, oh well, the front door is maybe not not great. And I was like, oh, there's a guy like way over there, huh? And he doesn't have anybody around him. And I was like, oh, some poison. And then I kind of go, I, I realize that oh, there's a lot of enforcers. And I'm like, well, I can just kind of go around here at the edge, and there doesn't seem to be, you know, anybody watching this guy. So I just, I just blast him. Yeah. And I don't even move him. I just leave him there. He's fine. Bust that. It's so bad. Good lord. And I'm just, like, casually walking away from the area. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not not allowed to be in here. Oh, I think. Yep, I do. <laughs> Just drag him, drag him in here, and hope that no one ever comes in this room. And we head up, and I realize, oh no, that's another enforcer, that lady. And I'm thinking, like, oh, surely one of the people up there is actually the dude. And I thought, oh, he just doesn't have a red outline. So I was going to just kind of walk in here and cap him. Um, as it turns out, there's nothing in this room. <laughs> He's not here. Or at least I didn't see him, if he is. So we just move on. Leave our, uh... <laughs> and I'm just, like, scanning the map. Like, where could he be? Why? Does it just bugged? Where's the, the information? I think if I would have headed straight there, and to the left, I actually might have found him. Which is a total bummer. Um, so if I had turned left back there, I think he was actually that direction. Um, down that way towards, like, the town. I should have kept going here and, like, explored that. But I didn't. I instead uh, kept on going. And I figured, oh, he's going to be, you know, in his compound, right? Because, like, he's trying to get people. So I figured he'd be somewhere recording a video like in the nice area and I'm like I knock on the door because I'm like oh I'm in the soldier's outfit nope they don't want me in there so I just roll around the edge here climb on up and uh everybody here doesn't like me because I'm trespassing and I'm like I, I for a second I was like oh maybe I should go back and go down the path but I was like, ah, that's like a long walk. I don't really want to. So, we don't do that. We change into the gardener's outfit. <laughs> this is incredible. I am the world, I mean the world's greatest assassin. Turn off the AC for him. And uh, he's just going to kind of step outside. Leave that gardener guy there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no question. No attempt. Just blast him. Just blast him. And then the other guy <laughs> comes around who actually knows me, which is hilarious. Uh, he's an enforcer in this outfit. And then I'm like, well, I think we'll get this guy, too. And at this point, I'm just like, well, I'll just clear the map. I'll just start clearing. Because eventually I'll find the uh, boss if I just keep killing. Yeah, he's going to show up, right? He doesn't. <laughs> Not even at all. Oh, I'm like, yeah, the shotgun's going to do it. I don't think I actually use it, which is a total shame. Oh, and here I'm like, so I've got the guys behind me coming up. And I've got this guy here, and I'm just like, well, I'm in it now, so... I don't move him. I just leave him. I'm just like, yeah, he's fine. No one's going over there. Oh my god, this is madness that I lasted as long as I did. Because I'm walking around this compound just killing anybody I think I can get away with. Just constantly. And I'm like going around the compound trying to find this, this leader guy. And I'm like, god, where the hell is this guy? Is he just... Is he hiding in, like, a basement? Or is there a bedroom or something? And I'm just, like, desperately searching. Oh, my goodness. 
it's incredible how much ridiculous garbage I do. And I'm, like, just scanning the map there for, like, any place I haven't been. Uh, what do I do with it? Oh, yeah, I throw the coin. I toss a coin to my Witcher here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Here we go. I am the world's greatest assassin. And, uh, I like to assert that by turning on the water... Uh, and then murdering. I am a, uh, I'm a wet bandit. This is from Home Alone, if you don't get that reference. We're about halfway through the, uh, murder parade at this point. Where, uh, I forget what I end up trying here. This is a really big map. I assume that there's, like, an actual target on this thing that isn't just the uh, elusive target, but maybe they do make uh, entire maps for elusive targets. If they do, that's that's awesome. But uh, I'm not so sure. I uh, get captured by a couple security cams. We're way past getting not discovered at this point, so I kind of didn't even care. Just running around. I think I wait like a few seconds for him to turn around and yeah, we proceed on. I'm just getting like fed up at this point. I'm just like frustrated. <laughs> Want to just deal with it and finish. So the murder uh, increases soon. We go from like attempting to move through with haste to just, like, outright chaos. Oh, God, yeah, the guy go checks the water and finds that guy. Damn. It's such a disaster. Well, and I figured at this point, I was like, oh, I've checked everything. I need to check the next section of the map. I thought, well, maybe he's in the garage. At this point, I'm just trying dumb stuff. I didn't know that um, the targets kind of follow uh, a pattern like a that makes sense. I thought that. Um, I just fucking didn't take this guy out in the middle of the road. Oh my god. Uh, I thought that they could just be anywhere, but actually, I think they're supposed to follow like a. A general, like, lore? I, I, I don't know what to say. it. I guess lore makes sense. Like, uh, this Mario guy is trying to recruit, so what the actual thing you should have done was look in, like, the population to find where he might be. Uh, which makes sense, but I didn't really consider that to be an idea at the time. I thought maybe he's just in the highest security possible place, so I try to, like, drill down... Oh, yeah, I go around these guys. Oh, and then these guys are talking about some hippo that apparently wants to eat meat. Um, oh, God, how did I not get discovered here? This one is real surprising. I don't know how I didn't get wrecked. Yep, this is where we just blast him. <laughs> and there's the hippo, and I'm like, well... Let's see if the hippo does come out. Spoiler alert. He does. He does. And he eats them. It's uh, pretty pretty hardcore. At this point, I'm just like, I don't care. Roll in. I gotta just leave them there. <laughs> just move on. Oh, do I actually drag them? Oh, man. I'm such a... I'm such a stealthy assassin. At this point, I'm like, okay, I've, I'm re I've really messed up. I have no idea what to do. I've never done one of these. I should have researched this before I tried it. So I was like, well, I, maybe I should just go back. But then I was like, yeah, well, it looks like there's some kind of pathway that goes down. and or, or deeper, rather. And I figured, okay, well, maybe if I continue this path, I'll at least get like a shortcut back. And then I actually unlocked some stuff, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe there's this bunker. 
And then there's this, like, Colombian submarine drug trafficking thing. And I was like, oh, okay. It's kind of starting to come together for me. Like, oh, he's going to be, like, deep deep in the in the cave um, doing, like, speeches online or something to try to gather followers. And uh, I was like, okay, so you're going to need, like, a different outfit for every section. Oh. Oh, the shot, I pulled out the shotgun for a second. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just use the shotgun. And I'm figuring at this point, I was like, okay, I've got the right idea now. I'm kind of digging down uh, to the bottom. So I figured he's going to be, like, down as far as possible. And I was like, oh, maybe he's, you know, a couple steps forward or something. I'm grasping at straws at this point. Oh, man. Right, uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that I shot him. Good lord. I just iced the whole room. Amazing. Oh yeah, just delete, delete the security cams, of course. Because that matters. Oh my gosh, I have so many guns. Oh yeah, and I'm like, okay... Where haven't I looked? I haven't looked at the bottom right. Because I figured he's not going to be in town. This whole time I'm telling myself he's not going to be in town. He's not going to be in town. He's going to be in, like, the more secure location. Foolishness. I don't know why I picked up the rat poison. What did I think I was going to do with that? I think at this point I was still like, I can salvage this. If I just find the guy, I can get out of here. This is like a weird thing. I guess you can hide there. I guess you could hit that monkey and then hide there and then knock somebody out. Uh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. And then I went to this area and I was like, oh, hey, we're in a different zone. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm in the coca plantation. And this is where it all kind of starts to fall apart. So I see that they notice me. So I'm like, well, shit, I got to deal with them. Uh, and then I do. And, 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 and then there's more. Good Lord. <laughs> it's just... It's insanity, truly. I should have just noticed that. Oh, I know, I did get that guy. How did I get discovered in the end? Why? Why am I this way? Oh my god. <laughs> and that's the end. <laughs> so that was my first elusive target. Uh, you know, I think there's there's room for improvement there. But uh, we learned a lot, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, you know, you know, next time. <laughs>